Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you needed to mount multiple devices outdoors, maybe on a pole, such as an access point, a wireless bridge, and maybe a surveillance camera or two, but found that there was no AC power anywhere in sight? This is the fast cabling outdoor PoE pass-through switch, an unmanaged plug-and-play switch that takes one high-power 802.3 BT input and supplies 802.3 AFAT PoE to the seven remaining ports. So before we continue, let me know down below, have you ever found yourself in this situation? So what is this switch about? It's rugged, it's built like a tank, it's meant for the outdoors. It is a PoE pass-through switch designed for places where you simply cannot run AC power like parking lot poles, perimeter fences, or far ends of a property. It's totally plug and play and capable of passing VLAN tagged traffic. Yes, you heard me correctly. It's capable of passing VLAN tagged traffic. This switch is also IP67 weather resistant. You can see it's got the weatherproof boots down along the bottom. It's IK10 vandal resistant, and it's got a surge protection component built in that can withstand general surge. All right, so what is this switch used for? A couple of years ago, I wish I had this switch. It would have been the perfect solution. Here was the scenario. I had a customer who has and still owns a auto body repair shop. He had a parking lot out back where he kept his customers' cars either when they were waiting to be fixed or after they were fixed. It was vandalized a few times. He wanted to get surveillance cameras out to surveil that parking lot. He did have a pole out there, but there was no AC power. What could we do? Well, we could have run power out to that location, but that would have cost tons of money. So instead, how about running a single Ethernet cable supplying 802.3 BT power to the fast cabling switch? From there, we would have been able to mount that switch on that pole and then mount maybe a PTZ camera, a couple of dome cameras for different angles, and even maybe a wireless access point. It would have been the perfect solution back then for the problem we were facing. All right, so I don't have the PoE switch set up, installed outdoors just yet. That is coming soon though, and I'll probably show it to you once it's installed in an upcoming video. Before I bring this video to a close, there are a couple of more things I want to cover. And the first thing is I want to do a live demonstration. I have that switch set up here in the lab, showing you that it does in fact pass the VLAN tag traffic. Yes, even though it is an unmanaged switch. But what if you don't have in your current network setup a switch capable of supplying 802.3 BT power to power the outdoor switch? Well, that's where this guy comes into play. This is the fast cabling high powered PoE injector capable of supplying 95 watts of power to power that outdoor switch. Now let's take a closer look at this. On the front of the unit, you have two ports. One is data in and one is PoE out. There's a switch that selects either BT, UPOE, or legacy BT power. And then on the back, you do have your AC power port here, and then a grounding lug here. All right, so the current lab setup for this test is as follows. There's a GCC 6010 router connected to a GWN 7811P switch. That grand stream switch is connected on port four over to the data in port on the fast cabling high power PoE injector. I'm taking the PoE out of that injector into port eight on the fast cabling outdoor PoE pass-through switch. And then on port two of that switch, I'm connected to a Grandstream GWN 7670LR outdoor access point. All right, so now you've seen the current hardware setup that I'm using in this lab to conduct this test. I'm gonna show you now that the fast cabling PoE pass-through switch, an unmanaged switch, is capable of passing VLAN tag traffic. Here we're looking at the GCC 6010. We're looking at the test network setup. There are four networks currently, VLAN 1 trusted, VLAN 20 guest network, VLAN 30 IoT network, and VLAN 40 camera network. We're only going to be using the trusted network and the guest network to conduct this test. Let's take a look at this tab at the Wi-Fi SSIDs that I have set up. Now I have a couple set up because I do some testing all the time here. We're going to be using the trusted Wi-Fi and the guest Wi-Fi to conduct this test. Currently, I am connected to the trusted Wi-Fi, which should give me an address in the 192.168.80 subnet. And you can see here the address is 192.168.80.15. 
and it says trusted Wi-Fi with a status of connected. So if we come over to the terminal app and the ping out to Google, you can see I'm getting a successful response from the Google servers. Now let's change our network. Let's connect to the guest network or the guest Wi-Fi. All right, we're connected now to the guest Wi-Fi. It's acquiring an IP address. It says connected, but what we're going to do is cancel off and go back in and let it refresh. And you can see after the refresh, the IP address is 192.168.20.163. Guest Wi-Fi connected. Let's go ahead and run that same test. And you can see we're still getting a successful ping from the Google servers. So that's a look at Fast Cabling's outdoor PoE pass-through switch. If you're finding yourself in situations where you need to install devices outdoors and AC power isn't available, this switch will solve that problem and give you a clean looking installation. If you found any value in this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel so you can see more content like this. Let me know in the comments if you have any devices currently set up outdoors. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please click the video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching.